Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom 5. In the previous video, we were talking about the energy profile diagrams, and in today's video, we are going to be introducing the concept of standard enthalpy change. We're going to be talking about standard enthalpy change. So when we talk about that, it is always the change in energy. And it is a change in energy under standard conditions. This change could be for a physical reaction or a chemical reaction. So this change could be change in energy for a physical or a chemical reaction. And that is why we are going to be talking about the types of standard enthalpy change as we begin. Firstly, we need to understand the two most common standard enthalpy changes. The first and the foremost is standard. I know the STD would put a lot of people off, but let's let's say a STD here stands for standard. So standard enthalpy of formation. Our first category of standard enthalpy changes, standard enthalpy of formation. It means the change in energy, it's the change in energy for one mole substance to be made. So it's the change in energy for one mole substance to be made from its elements in standard enthalpy of formation you start from the elements so standard enthalpy formation change in energy for one mole substance to be made from its elements at standard conditions at standard conditions so the elements have to be in their standard state and then you're obviously talking about the elements are reacting under standard conditions to make the compound. We write it like this, change in enthalpy, delta means change, H means enthalpy. We make this symbol of phi to denote standard conditions and then we write F which means standard enthalpy formation. The second enthalpy change we are going to talk about is a standard enthalpy change of combustion. Standard enthalpy change of combustion. Now we know that there are two categories of combustion, but we're going to be talking about only complete combustion because under standard conditions, we assume excess oxygen. So for example, it is the change in energy when one mole again one mole is a part of standard conditions right so when one mole of any substance is combusted when one mole of any substance is combusted in excess oxygen under excess oxygen in excess oxygen at standard conditions again at standard conditions obviously standard conditions mean standard conditions of temperature and pressure how do we write it we write it with delta H then we make the symbol for standard conditions and then we write C the next enthalpy change we're gonna be talking about is the standard enthalpy change for neutralization so the next is standard enthalpy of neutralization I am pretty sure we know what neutralization is so when we talk about neutralization we refer to change in energy it's the change in energy when one mole water when one mole water is made from H plus and OH minus ions at 
standard conditions. So you are taking one mole H plus and one mole OH minus ions to make a mole of water at standard conditions. We write it with delta H for standard enthalpy change with the symbol of standard conditions and then we write neutralization. We write neutralization for that. The last is a standard enthalpy for reaction. So the last one we're going to be talking about is standard enthalpy of reaction. In standard, like in standard enthalpy of reaction, we deal with the change in energy. We deal with the change in energy. But here we can't say one mole, right? Let me write the G and Y properly. Change in energy. We can't be dealing with we can't be dealing with one mole because it is a reaction which we are not sure about that what's the balancing behind the equation. So that is why we say it's a change in energy when a reaction happens, any reaction, when a reaction happens along with balanced moles balanced moles based on chemical equation. So any reaction that happens with their balanced moles based on the chemical equation Whichever reaction that is, as long as it's happening according to the balanced equation, it's standard enthalpy reaction. We write it with delta H, the symbol of standard conditions, and then we write reaction. So far, we have talked about four enthalpy changes. First, we talked about that enthalpy change means change in energy for any physical or chemical reaction. So I've highlighted that. Then we talked about, let's say, the standard enthalpy change of formation which includes elements reacting to make compound elements have to be in their standard state. Then we talked about for example let's pick another color then we talked about standard enthalpy change for combustion where we talked about any element or any compound combusting under standard conditions in excess oxygen. Then we talked about standard enthalpy change for neutralization. Let's pick another color. Here we talked about one mole of water being made from the elements, from the ions H plus and OH minus at standard conditions. So H plus and OH minus ions are important here. And then we considered standard conditions. The last is standard enthalpy change for any reaction. Let's pick another color, let's say orange here. In standard enthalpy for reaction, we consider any chemical reaction that's happening on the basis of a balanced molar equation. And then we write delta H reaction for it to denote standard conditions. Now, let's do some equations to study how the standard enthalpy formation works because just going about the theory isn't enough for us. Let's go about this idea. You can see on the left hand side multiple standard enthalpy formations are given. The unit for them is kilojoule per mole. For example when they talk about hydrogen fluoride so one mole hydrogen fluoride is made but what are the reactants? The reactant is hydrogen gas and fluorine gas. Hydrogen gas and fluorine gas. Is it a balanced equation? No, it's not. So we make sure we write half mole hydrogen gas and half mole fluorine gas. They react to make one mole hydrogen fluoride. That is the balanced equation. It should be denoted as delta HF with the standard conditions and then you write HF in the bracket to show that. In a very similar way, for example, when you want to make ethane, ethane has a formula C2H6. Which elements do you need? You need pure carbon, which is in the solid state, and pure hydrogen in the gaseous state. 
How many carbons do you need? You need 2 mole pure carbon solid and you need 3 mole pure hydrogen gas. In a very similar way to make sodium carbonate, you write Na2CO3 which is 1 mole. How many sodiums do you need? You need pure sodium which is solid. You need pure carbon which is again solid and you need pure oxygen gas. 2 mole sodium should be needed. 1 mole carbon is enough and you need 3 oxygen atoms. So you can write 3 over 2 oxygen molecules. For the next one, for example, to make ammonia, you make 1 mole ammonia using nitrogen as an element which is gaseous and hydrogen as an element which is again gaseous. You need a single atom of nitrogen, so you need half mole nitrogen gas and 3 over 2 mole hydrogen gas because you need 3 hydrogen atoms for 1 mole ammonia. The last one is going to be propane here. Propane has a formula C3H8. You need pure carbon which is solid and pure hydrogen gas to make propane. 3 mole carbon is enough to make propane and obviously 4 mole hydrogen gas is enough. This is how you write combustion equations with balancing. I mean sorry formation equations with balancing. Now we'll be doing some combustion equations. You can see standard enthalpy of combustion also has the same unit kilojoule per mole. We're going to be picking some very, very uh, precise examples like ethane. In ethane combustion, ethane is the reactant, right? So ethane is the reactant, obviously with oxygen. So you write ethane here, C2H6, along with oxygen. Since there are two carbons here, you can receive two carbon dioxide. So you will receive two carbon dioxide and hydrogen will make water. Because of the two carbons, two carbon dioxides and six hydrogen can give you three water molecules. Now we talk about the balancing of oxygen. You can see there are four oxygen atoms in carbon dioxide and three oxygen atoms in water. When you add them, it becomes seven oxygen atoms in demand. So you write seven over two oxygen atoms as needed. 7 over 2 oxygen molecules as needed. 7 over 2 or you can say 3.5 mole of oxygen gas. For example, let's pick propane as another example. So propane has a formula C3H8 which again reacts with pure oxygen gas. Your products are again going to be carbon dioxide and water. You know that three carbon atoms from propane will give you three carbon dioxides and eight hydrogen atoms can give you four water molecules. When you count the oxygen atoms, there are six oxygen atoms in the carbon dioxide here and four oxygen atoms in the water. That gives you 10 oxygen atoms in demand. So you write five mole oxygen gas. The correct way of writing this would have been Delta HC, the symbol for standard, and then you write C3H8 in a bracket. That means standard enthalpy of combustion for propane. In today's video, we came across various definitions for standard enthalpies. In the next video, we'll be talking about Hazes Law. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks.